you were asking me to come and eat. What are you eating? <laughs> I made fried rice. <laughs> God. Oh, please. <laughs> today with uh, some of the very awesome emails um, if you've been following me you would have seen the you would have seen the post that I made about uh, people emailing me if they were stuck with their travel dreams and if you send me an email just know that I've already responded so check your email check your email I've already responded <laughs> So I also know that um, a lot of people are currently going through this challenge where they've done everything right, they are ready to travel, but then, ha ha ha, you know, shit happens. <laughs> so that's exactly what is happening now. And we're doing uh, the best we can to uh, disseminate the information that we have so that as many people as possible are still able to achieve their study abroad dreams. So... If you emailed me, check your email. And uh, I also had other people that emailed for different things. Just know that my inbox is full. But right now, even before I started this call, I've cleared all my emails. So if you emailed me and you've not heard from me, just know that your email has been skipped. That, that means send a reminder, okay? But of course, check for my re reply before you send a reminder so that you're not sending a reminder when I already emailed you back. So I've replied everyone, make sure you go to your email and send me uh, a reminder if you have not gotten response to an email that you sent a long time ago, all right? I just wanted to check in on you to see how you are doing. And for people that are already, like people that are currently doing their study abroad process, to encourage you, right? Because it's not easy. It's a daunting process, a very stressful time. You are coordinating school to send your transcript, or maybe you already have your transcript and you just upload. <laughs> Especially if you're advantage students, you already know that. Or, um, you know, you're preparing your documents, you are talking to your referees to, um, to, to write your references. See, let me say something to you. If you are applying for school right now and you have to reach out to some of your lecturers who are going to, or your workers or, or sorry like your employers who are going to serve as either academic or professional reference for you be merciful do you know why I said that so I have people that uh, did the application this this um, like this period and they used me as ref as a referee either because um they work with me or something you know but the whole point is god is so down it, like it's so it's so stressful that i miss every other thing that is in your head like this or you're running yeah yeah, yeah 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 that you have to bring out time and write a very compelling letter for somebody you know it's a lot of work <laughs> sometimes it gets um like sometimes people don't realize it's a lot of work, especially if you have more than one, right? Like and most times, even the candidates is putting your name for more than one application, and it's sometimes you are writing more than like you are writing an application for more than one candidate. I mean, imagine two or three candidates put your name for two or three places, you know? So. <laughs> that's more like you, you're multiplying it's a lot of work and you know that then they're going to follow up on you like one week later like hey you've not written the, 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 hey you've not written the, uh, the reference i'm like oh my god can, can i change my mind now and they're like no it's too late i'm like oh god help my soul <laughs> so what i'm saying is be messy with your referees okay because they are, they, are, they are actually doing a lot, making out time. I miss their busy schedule to help you write references. And you want to push, but you don't want to over push. Because there's how you will over push, and the person will just be like, the person will just do it to get you off their back. And at the end, they'll just write one paragraph for you as reference, right? So you want to push, send reminder, be, be, be um, how do I put it? Be understanding. You know, like somebody should not tell you um i've been so busy and you're like well i don't care about this the deadline is today 
Because the person may just be like, you know what? I'm even going to do this and I'm never going to do it again for you. It's not easy to be a referee for somebody. <laughs> Except you have been it once. You will not, you may not even understand that it's a lot of work. So uh, push your referees, but push them with love. All right? Because... You don't want to push somebody and they will feel like, well, I'm going to do this because I said yes and I'm never going to do it again for you. Because you don't know when next you're going to be doing application. Let's assume you're applying for master's now. In few few uh, years down the line, you may be applying for PhD. Let's assume you're applying for PGD now. In few years down the line, you may be applying for master's. You, The school may not even give you admission and you have to reapply for another school. Do you see? So you don't want to burn your, your candles, right? Some people, they'll push you. They'll even say things. You'll be like, oh my God, if I wish, I never should have accepted to be a reference for this person, you know? <laughs> and think of it. A referee is going to be saying something about you. They will say, how does this person behave? How does it? So he, your referee is the last person you want for him or her to be angry with you, you know? <laughs> it's just uh, wisdom. Just use your wisdom. Anyway, the whole point is, this period, a lot of, uh, I've had to write references for um, some people and it's been a lot of work. For so, those of you that just joined my page this week or you just got to uh, know about us, you are welcome to my page, okay? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is that Dr. Linda that, <laughs> that you've been hearing of, seeing that your friends referred you to, that your family asked you to contact. You know, some people, they write me and be like, my friend said I should message you. My sister in Canada said I should contact you. My uncle in London said I should message you. <laughs> this is the Dr. Linda. You're seeing her live. Live, 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 okay? <laughs> and for those of you that have been referring people to us you are doing amazing i want to let you know that every time you refer somebody to us you are changing somebody's life you know because i always say you may not have money to give that person but just referring them to us means that you have saved them thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and not just saving so if they are getting scholarship right when they get their scholarship that's also you indirectly giving them thousands and thousands of dollars they will never forget you right like i posted a letter that somebody sent recently and said oh if a, a, a friend of that person saw my post all right a friend of that person saw my post please if you are watching migration students and you are here just understand that if you have any question send me an email all right you, it's like don't be the don't be the daughter or son of a queen or a king, and then you are eating breadcrumbs, <laughs> right? Send me an email. I, I, I reply emails and even hold consultations sometimes for people that are not Vantage Migration students, but for Vantage Migration students, that's guaranteed, right? Guaranteed. So why would you be looking for something or looking for where to type things when you can actually just send me an email? <laughs> so keep that in mind, all right? Um, yeah. So for those that just joined us, that's, you are very much welcome to the page. If you have any question, we reply our inbox messages, our DMs. We reply it like 24-7. So if you have any question, send us a DM. If this is your first time joining my page, you are very much welcome, okay? You are very much welcome. And uh, for people who, you know, you have a question for me or something, chat us inbox, all right? And uh, chat us inbox. That's the fastest way. Where are you calling from? I'm calling you direct from Glasgow. Woo! <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Glasgow is in yeah. uh, Glasgow is in UK. Yeah, Scotland. Yeah, Scotland. Scotland. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. I saw you were asking me to come and eat. What are you eating? <laughs> I made fried rice. <laughs> God. Oh, please. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy is enjoying <laughs> Wait, what's that other thing there? Yellow. Is it orange okay. or what? Yes, yes, orange fruits. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I just came back from shopping, yeah. Oh, true, 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 true. You said that. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Thank can you, you very send much. me some? 
send you to a true DHL. I want to eat your your fried rice. So <laughs> I, I was I was asking you for a hamper for Christmas from Vintage. <laughs> <laughs> you can give us a hamper for Christmas. You 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 know that I, I'm actually taking two people out, though I'm restricting it to international students because I know they are likely yeah. to be the ones to need the the uh, you know any form of assistance, and I'm taking the person to African store. So that we can buy things like okay. Gucci, Gary, you know, dry fish, more yeah. and you know, goat meat, with whatever, whatever we want to buy. So, but well, you're not in my city now. You see, you're far away, UK. But I can see you're yeah, doing, yeah. you're doing well, huh? With your with your rice and orange. <laughs> yeah, I make that uh, because uh, tomorrow is Sunday. So when I come back from church tomorrow, and for the week, well, I plan ahead for the week because it's really. Hectic from school to work and not the rest, so it's yeah. really hectic. Yeah, yeah. Really I'm, I'm so happy for you. How is the study abroad life? Wow, it's very, it's very okay. There's a very big difference, you no, know, here and Nigeria. You no, know, it's a very, very big difference. Yeah, <laughs> you see them here in twelve and ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I I lack what to express it. I lack what to express. You know, although yeah, initially that was last day. I started following your page and it really helped me, you know, going through the admission process and all the rest there. But I've not really had the opportunity to you know join your live section and I don't say I'm very lucky today to join your live session. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, okay? And uh take good care of yourself. I, yeah, I'll sure, I will. Like, uh, I'll, I'll come to UK next year, so maybe we'll get to see. Oh, I'll, 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 be, I'll, be, I'll be so glad to meet you. I'll be so glad to meet you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I was telling some people, uh, your last week you were alive. I was telling some people, me, I used my HND, lower credits, and here I am. So I was telling them, it's possible. It's possible. Wow, it's possible, wow. and it's important yes. that you're saying the HND lower credit. Are you able to get masters direct, right? Yes, yes, masters, University of West of Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. congratulations. It's possible. Congratulations, thank you. And I'm studying project management. Wow, yeah. wow, that, that's a very good interdisciplinary program. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, I'm so happy to join your live session and. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Somebody said, uh, can I apply for scholarship before my NYC next year? I studied anatomy and uh, uh, what are the related courses I possibly study rela relating to my course? Uh, what are the amount needed? So I'm going to say, Naomi, first, you can apply for study abroad without NYC. I'm not saying you shouldn't do NYC, but I'm just stating the fact that you don't need NYSE certificates in order to get masters abroad, right? And most times, I advise people to overlap it. So while you are doing your NYSE, you start your uh, your application process because usually it's about eight to um, eight to twelve months, right? Like or let's just say six to twelve months. So six to twelve months for you to process everything. Overlap it with your NYSC so that at the end of NYSC you just travel. Instead of it to be that at the end of NYSC, then you start, right? You want to overlap it. It's better for you. But you do not need NYSC certificate to get admission abroad. Um, then you talked about studying anatomy and other what are the related courses. So I'm going to refer you to our webinar. Uh, Naomi, if you are just uh, new to my page, you could check, uh, go to, um, on my page on Instagram, right? Look at the description, the bio. When you read the bio, you're going to see a place where we say attend our webinar. So you see the link to the webinar, click on it. Then it's going to take you to the webinar page and you'll be able to register and take the webinar. The webinar is for free, but it's going to give you direction on what to do next and how to get started on your study abroad journey. And all these questions like what course, what this, how do I do, you're going to see so many answers to all your questions, all right? So go and attend the webinar. And if you complete the webinar or for any other person who have completed the webinar, chat us inbox, all right? Then she also said, uh, what amount is needed for the process? It depends. If you know what you are doing, you will spend way, 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 way less compared to somebody who doesn't know what they are doing. So there's no fixed amount for everybody. 
It depends on your information. The same, like, for example, somebody will have information, they will apply, they will get full scholarship. Another person does not even have information, they will apply, they will get a school fees of 18,000 pounds. They are two the same person, most times, even the same characteristics, the same grade, the same everything. They finish from the same school. But the amount they will spend is like, is as far from Canada to Ghana. <laughs> the amount they will spend is, is so far away from each other. What is the difference? The information they have at hand. So, by the way, if you are thinking of traveling 2022, you already know you are running late, right? I don't need to say that again. You are running very late. So, you, if you have not started, let me put it this way. You are running late if you have not started. If you have started, you have started your application, you started searching schools, you are about to submit, You've, you are on time. You are on time. But if you, are, if you have not started, you are running late, meaning start immediately, all right? If you've not started, you are running late. If you started, you are on time. Quickly finish up every other thing you are doing, all right? That's how to explain it. Um, Krista is saying, uh, I, I have a question regarding how to secure a GRE GMAT exam waiver. Get trained, Krista. If not, you are going to go and write those exams. <laughs> Is it easier for you to get trained or is it easier to write GMAT? Get trained. Go and attend our free webinar. That, that's how to start, okay? If you have further questions, ask us in box. Somebody said, what's the difference between academic IETS and IETS general? IETS general is used for immigration purpose, like uh, if you're doing like express entry and all that. Then IETS academic is requested by schools from people who did not study in English. So Chukwe Buka, you studied in English. If you're a graduate and you studied in English, you don't need IETS. Stay away from IETS. Learn how to do your applications without IETS. Except you want to go and write. If you want, if you love writing exams and writing exams is your hobby, my dear, by all means, write 10 IETS all together. <laughs> oh. Then somebody said, uh, I want to relocate to Canada. Must it be true study up? Stud, uh, student study this application it must not be however it is the fastest easiest and surest other means if you want to go and join a uh, express entry routes that uh, for two years now people have not traveled through it that would be your desire also just google on go to google say different ways to relocate to canada Ask Google. Google is going to bring options for you. One thing I guarantee you is a study abroad is the fastest, easiest, and surest of them all. I'm Dare, just graduated, need advice to study master's. That's cool. At Dare, start from our free webinar. Go to my page. Check the link in my bio. You're going to see it. So, okay. Uh, I, I've answered a, a lot of the questions, and I, I know there are a lot uh, left. So, you can feel free to chat us inbox for any other question that you have. All right, you're going to see, uh, if you go to the webinar, your, um, our bio, you're going to see a place where they say message. You click on the message button, that's how to get to our inbox and you can ask your questions. Alternatively, you know, you can send me an email. Email is, can also be found on my bio or you can chat inbox if need be, all right? But preferably, before you even email me, attend the webinar. Because if you email me, you have not attended the webinar, I'll send you back to the webinar. Why? At the webinar, we answer, like during the webinar, we answer so many questions. So I only want you to be asking me questions that were not answered in the webinar. So attend the webinar, attend the webinar, and make sure that, uh, attend the webinar, and make sure that you completely, completely attend the webinar. You get a cheat code, then you can message us with it, okay? Whether it's via inbox here, or via email. <laughs> if you're one of those that want to relocate abroad next year and you've not started, you know you're late and you're likely going to miss it if you don't start now. So, but it's up to you. You can also start next year and relocate 2023. That's also something doable. So don't um, don't kill yourself if if the stars did not align for you in 2021. But sometimes it could also be that some people they quit too easily. Instead of them to ask, maybe they have something in their mind or they got one information. Instead of them to ask, they'll just be like, please, oh, I don't want to try. Oh, let me wait. Oh, Tinesi. You wait for it. you don't even know how things are going to be. If you're an action taker like me, <laughs> you, will be, you either would have long started your, your, your study or 
you should have traveled by now or you you are starting january or you are you know you will have submitted your application so don't let anything hold you back all right all right hey 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 <laughs> if you're about to travel don't go and watch movie like me oh go and watch the school websites go and watch that's where your own movie is <laughs> if you're trying to relocate abroad through the story abroad around, don't go and watch movie go and watch the school websites that's your movie <laughs> Sorry. You see, now me have, there was a time so I was in your shoes and every weekend my head day laptop they apply, they apply. That was how I was able to get my own full scholarship. So now it's your turn to do your own suffering. <laughs> and hopefully by the time you are done, by the time you are done, uh -huh, on Saturdays you can then sit down and watch this now movie. You will start rubbing it into your eyes and be like, I'm rubbing it into your eyes. Oh god. Okay, don't worry. I just want you to have a little bit of pinch to take action, all right? You know I love you. <laughs> take care of you. Bye-bye.